Welcome back. In our previous video, we explored the UI of Packet and its features. Today, we will dive a little bit deeper into wrapping your packages with PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit, converting them to Intune WAM files, and uploading them to Intune. So, wrapping packages with PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit has never been easier. Previously, you had multiple steps you had to take in order to wrap a package with PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. First of all, you needed to download the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit, extract the archive, place the installation package contents into the files folder, edit basic information, add command lines, and so forth and so on. Now, Packet automates these steps, and how do we do it? For example, for my exe file here, I can just click on Wrap it with PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit, and here you will have your new PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit generated. So if I open this folder to have a look over it, as you can see, we have everything that's needed in the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. Our executable has been placed inside the files folders. And if we have a look over deployapplication.ps1, we can see that the variable declaration has been changed. And if we have a look over the installation, we are executing the process of installing vlc.exe with the parameters provided. So again, after your package is ready, you can now see a new sub package, let's call it like this, which is created in packet. Now we can upload this package to SCCM, we can generate an Intune win file, or we can open an editor to have a look over the PowerShell script that we previously looked at. Now, in this case, because we want to have a look on how to upload to Intune, we want to generate an Intune win file. So for this, we click on the sub package, click on generate Intune win. It will ask us which is the folder uh, from which we want to generate the Intune win file. And by the way, keep in mind that the Intune win file will include all the files and folders found next to our installer. So be careful what you're doing there. Then click on generate. And now the Explorer will open with our new Intune Win application. But also, if we have a look, we have a new sub uh, application here, which we can now upload to Intune. We can also provide a separate installation or uninstallation command line. Uh, in this case, it will be deploy application.ps1. And if I click upload to Intune, a new wizard will appear. In this wizard, you will have to log in with your Microsoft credentials. It will ask us which is the setup package. We click next. We start to deploy. We are deploying the package to Intune and the operation completed successfully. Now our package and application is uh, uploaded to Intune and can be further on deployed to the users. So Packet, it's a dynamic tool and it's continuously evolving with new features and functionalities. Again, we really value your feedback. If you have any suggestions, encounter any issues, or want to report a bug, reach out via email. Your input will help us to improve Packet and make it even more powerful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on Packet and other advanced installer solutions.